everybody, to Heather McDonald. <laughs> It's what I like to call Katherine Heigl syndrome, and I'm afraid I may get it, and that's where you let your gay best friend blow up your ego too much. <laughs> the kids should not be on tour with the Pussycat Dolls babysitting. They should be home, at home with the people who love them and have raised them, K-Fed's black bodyguards. That's who they should be with. <laughs> and TR Knight gave her too many oh, compliments. Wow. And you know Guy is wonderful. He loves me unconditionally, and that's the greatest thing about having a gay best friend is that they're a guy who loves you, but they never want to have sex with you, but they tell you you're beautiful all the time. They're not competition. <laughs> In that article, you know, she just only wants to talk about the movie. You know, and, and, and also she's like that on Oprah, too. She's like, I'm great. I'm fine. <laughs> Why is everyone so fascinated with my personal life? <laughs> I'm thrilled. It's a great movie. It's about a dog. Heather, I want you to read it because you do a good impersonation of Kim Kachok. So here it is. She said, maybe. <laughs> What's sexier is the chefs were always cooking up something new and exciting. <laughs> She, anything she'd talk about, she could make sexy, like, global warming. Mm, I've got your electric car right here. <laughs> you guys, I just got word that we have a new client that is going to be bigger than anybody we've ever had. How's it going down there? I love it down here. It's hot like you, Chelsea. You've got to come down. I want to have sex with you and your boyfriend can walk. I have lots of sex. Chelsea, I'm going to talk straight to the American people about that. And that's something that Senator John McCain, the Maverick, and I have had long conversations about. If you know what, Chelsea, I'll tell you. You know, Todd and I are together. We are. And when Todd's not riding a snowmobile, you know who he's riding? Me. And in the private sector, no doubt. I'm on the pill, but I would like to get, have my husband get a vasectomy because if I could go off the pill, I could save $30 and be five pounds thinner, and that would help my mental health. So hello! I'm surprised that you could save $30 by going off the pill, and Peter does not support that. I, I know! That. I know! <laughs> Cheapest man in America, everybody. <laughs> Heather McDonald's husband. You know Peter and I like to role play, so for a long time we did the whole Colby Bryant Girl to Colorado in thing, but now we can actually go to Malibu, book a room. I can speak in the southern accent. He can pretend to be a hot guy from Lifetime. We can avoid each other in the lobby, and it's like an exciting weekend to look forward to. I'm, like, thrilled. Yeah, but then Peter's got to have to cover the fees for the Malibu Beach Inn, which we all know he won't do. True. <laughs> I mean, I saw Basic Instinct 2, and she shut her eyes and masturbated while driving a Ferrari over a bridge into the water and survived. If she can do that, I think she can write some short stories. Yes. Celine, I would just want to say that I am a huge fan of yours. Everything you do is amazing. Oh, thank you. I think so, too. Why do you feel like you just have to keep singing and singing and singing? It's what I do, Chelsea. It's what I do. I am so sick of Kate Hudson. Kate, Hudson. Hudson. Kate Hudson was really cute and, and adorable. And yes. then she just started sleeping with everybody, yeah. and it's not so cute anymore. And now, and now she became that girl. That girl that, like, hops on every guy's back at a party and makes them carry her around. <laughs> and acts like she's so cool and sporty and down to earth. And I don't Guy friends. All my friends are guys. I don't get along with girls. I don't have guy friends. Yeah, because you're a slut. That's why everybody wants to be your friend. I actually watch the show all the time. And a couple episodes ago, I told you this. I'm watching it, and like about 40 minutes in, I'm watching this goatee, this guy who's this millionaire. And I'm like, that goatee I dated 10 years ago. And at the time, he was peddling vitamins. And I was like, who's going to ever buy these vitamins? I totally blew him off. Now I'm watching it. They tell me that his business is worth $10 million, all while I'm sitting next to my husband, who's in the booming mortgage. Company. <laughs> I'm like, did I miss the boat? Should I have gone further with this goatee guy? I love it. I watch it every Sunday, but I don't love every character in it. Like, Marley Matlin's on it. And I don't like the part she plays because she's so argumentative with her lover. She's always like, Ben, I don't want to just eat you out. I want to go to the party and go dancing. Listen to the DJ. This is a relationship. It's give and take. Afterwards, I kiss your boobie. Why are you always mad? You haven't changed a bit, except you're all a little older and fatter. Hey, Jerry, you look great. Well, Blair, what can I say? When you're hot, you're hot. Hey, Natalie, you auditioning much? Not really. How about Extreme Makeover Home Edition? Because you're as big as a house. You can't talk to me like that. Yes, I can. I'm a stand-up comedian with cerebral palsy. I can say whatever I want. Gives a can. It's not always about you, okay? You two are just jealous. <laughs> <laughs>
We are not jealous. Court and I just booked the cover of Armenian Asses Weekly. So take that, biatch. And I'll tell you something else. If you use my name, Kardashian, I will sue your ginormous ass. Enough already. My kids are my best friends. There are no secrets, okay? I've showed them all my nude photos. I've performed the routines I used to do at the strip clubs, and they love catching the ping pong balls, all right? I can see why he broke up with her, because in every movie, she's so annoying. Like, in this new hit, new in town, was out for like a minute. It's like, you see the whole movie, it's the same thing. It's like, hmm, she's a city girl, and she didn't know there was snow in Minnesota. And now she's wearing stiletto heels, and she's slipping everywhere. And then she meets Harry Connick Jr., and I'm so frustrated. But then she has, she has some drinks, and she falls again, and she goes, maybe there is something to this town. You know what? There's a movie.